Without doubt, the statement, questions are the answers, is just so true. Why is it that most people in any profession don't ask enough questions? Is it because you're made to feel like an FBI interrogator? Or is it because you're feeling rude or you're feeling pushy by asking a lot of questions? Well, our research and observations over the last 20 years indicate that the concerns we all have regarding asking questions can be put into three simple words. And they are lack of preparation. So often, we just shoot from the hip and wonder why the customer isn't moving forward with us as they should be. You know, it was many years ago that legendary motivationalist Zig Ziglar said to me in a seminar, if you don't ask, you don't get. This is just so true. But I was sitting there thinking, but what do I ask? <laughs> It truly is the rare and unpredictable salesperson who has two things at their disposal, just at their hand's reach. Number one, it's a list of the top 10 questions you have to ask all of your customers. Now this list has got to be in writing and it's got to be laminated. Create a list specific to your business from our suggestions on the screen. Number two, a list of the top 10 reasons why a customer should do business with you and your company. Now once again, this list should be in writing and laminated. Let's now look at part number one. It's a list of the 10 best questions for you to ask of all of your customers, whether you're on the phone, face to face, or a combination of the two. Once again, it has to be written down and laminated. A list of the 10 best questions you should be asking all of your customers, I tell you what, it'll accelerate your sales dramatically. It'll also increase your professionalism in the eyes of the customer because of one big reason. You are now asking lots of good questions, getting more information in order to deliver them the best of service. To gain information, we have to ask open-ended questions. Now, these are questions designed to encourage a full, meaningful answer, using the customer's own knowledge, experience, and feelings. I love open-ended questions. Open-ended questions start with who, what, where, when, how, which. They're information getters, and you don't get anything until you ask. You will notice we didn't include the word why. Why? when used at the start of a sentence, will normally be confrontational in its delivery. For example, why are you wearing that shirt? Why are you looking like that? Why did you order that on the menu? That is why we've omitted why from our list. Also, any question that starts with why can be delivered with who, what, where, when, how, or which. So let's get started. Your job now is to turn these few minutes that we have together into a learning experience that will deliver you far, far better results when? Immediately. Grab a pen and write down the key words. Who, what, where, when, how, which. Create a list of questions starting with these key information getting words that relate to your industry. Come up with a provocative 
list of eight to ten questions that'll have you so much better prepared and in control of the selling situation. You will be a lot more confident and ready to go to the next step in your sales cycle. Now let's have a look at point number two. A list of the 10 best reasons why someone would want to do business with you and your company. You know, this list is just so critical because it shows you are a professional and that you, in fact, have 10 good reasons why the customer should do business with you and your company. You're prepared. This list should include, oh, we are a family business, Oh yeah, we've been in business 18 years. Oh, an extensive product line. This is a bit of a free ad. Um, trained by the uh, sales doctor personally. Multilingual. Seven languages spoken. Oh yeah, we have an internet uh, help desk. Oh, we have an ability to order online. Oh no, we're open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fixed. Best pricing on all stock items. And I tell you what, unique products offered daily. Now, when you point these out, ask the customer, can you see the value in that? Let's sing it. Can you see the value in that? Can you see the value in that? I just love. And I'll say it again. I just love asking the question, can you see the value in that? Because you know what? When they answer yes, they tick the box of mental ownership and they're so much closer to becoming involved in your product or your service. This is David Jackson thanking you so much for watching this video. Trust you see the benefits of creating some top 10 lists to get yourself better prepared and more confident. But here, here's my question to you. When? When are you going to start?